Why? Because Christ is in me. I don't become a product of my circumstances. I don't say, well, you don't know what I'm going through. I see what he went through. And that's where I find me. And then I live from that place. The way we give up on each other, the way we get so crushed by each other, it shows me that we don't see him like we could. The way we move on from each other. I'm not trying to condemn you. If you've made those choices, just get what I'm saying now and just don't make them ever again. And you cross the finish line. Look, not, don't you get condemned if you made those choices. It's not about condemnation. It's about becoming and growing up into Him in all things. You say, well, I didn't know any of this. I'm on my third marriage. So make sure you live this now. Make sure you live out this conviction. Make sure you don't repeat performance. Make sure you step in and reveal by the life you live that you've been changed. And refuse to regret and refuse to give up. This message is not condemning anyone. It's throwing you right in the race. But if somebody don't talk about this, it might be your fourth marriage justified. Fifth marriage with a story. I'm not being mean. I'm being real. I wonder if we could take that language away. All of a sudden we can't do what we did before because we don't see like we used to see. And all of a sudden, instead of being hurt, we're hurting. Instead of being angry, we're merciful. Instead of being irritated, we have compassion. That's how dramatic the difference is of seeing and not seeing. And when you're not seeing and all those things are your reality, you tend to find people that agree with your pain. And they become your support system through sympathy, which assures you'll never be free. Because they'll keep you where you are and you'll believe you belong there. That's good stuff right there. Like that's worth admission right there. And this was free. <clears throat> Phew. Okay, I'm done.